Hey guys, it's Joe, and I'm so glad that you're here. Today's video will be me and my mom in Bergen, Norway. We took the train from Oslo to Bergen. It rains a lot in Bergen, so of course when we arrived, it was raining. We took the light rail over to the city center where our hotel was. Hotel tour and review will be at the end of the video. Check out the timestamp below. We went to Pingvinen for dinner. It was super cozy and had penguins all around. If you remember in France, we loved the Fanta, so mom tried out this European version. She really enjoyed. We got two dishes to share. The stew was a little salty, but the meatballs were great. Good morning, Bergen. Let's explore this amazing place. First stop right out of our hotel is the Amazing Market, which is open from morning to night. Here you can find great little treats to bring home. I didn't want to bring any seafood home, but I was very curious about the whale. Let's try it. Elk and reindeer were okay, but the whale had a surprisingly amazing taste. It didn't taste fishy at all and almost had a pork-like taste. Let's head to the historical district. By this point in the trip, I've had two different versions of brown cheese waffles that I made at breakfast. Let's try the best place that was rated in Bergen. I got it with everything on it. Brown cheese, sour cream, and jam. We were big fans. The funicular is something that's really popular in Bergen. One of my suggestions is to wait a couple rides and get the front seat. We only had to wait one time. The view is beautiful and you can see all the surrounding fjords. A really cool feature was this dial that had all major cities around it. There's even New York. Hi, Nate! We got lucky again and got to ride in the front seat. Here's the view going down. After a short nap, we decided to do something fun and we went to the Magic Ice Bar. You get dressed up in some nice gear to keep you warm and then you head into the ice bar. As the name says, everything's covered in ice. The glasses that we're holding are actually made of ice, which was so fun and cool, and mom and I had a great time. The view of the historical buildings across the water just never got old. It had been a few hours since our brown waffles, so now it was time to try the famous reindeer hot dog of Norway. The hot dogs are served with mustard, lingonberry sauce, and crispy fried onions. I would say this is a little too sweet for me, and I prefer the Icelandic hot dogs. If you had a chance to try the hot dogs in Bergen, what did you think? Tell me in the comments below. It had been raining off and on the whole day. We decided to go shopping in the historic district. We survived the rain by looking at trolls. Norway is known for trolls, so there were so many cute little troll shops. Look at that cute troll guy. Of course, we had to take pictures with him. Is this me and my mom? Oh, look, here's me and Nate. If you've been enjoying the content so far, give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. We decided to have a smaller dinner tonight, so we both got a slice of pizza. In Norway, they serve it with the garlic sauce. The sauce was okay, it didn't taste like Papa John's, but I figured might as well try it how they like to have it there. The next day, we took a luxury guided tour to see the fjords of Norway and see those majestic pictures you always see. We stopped in Voss to see the Reflection Lake, which was breathtaking. The next stop was to see the majestic waterfall. 
As you can see how big it is from the people in the pictures, it was absolutely massive. Here is the spot I was most looking forward to, seeing the amazing overlook and seeing the majestic fjords from up top. The ride up is kind of scary. It's a one-way road where you have to share with both sides of traffic. I do recommend doing a guided tour so you don't have to be stressed out. I always saw these pictures of Norway and thought that they were kind of made up and there's no way that somewhere in the world could be this beautiful. I was wrong and they exist and I got to see it. We arrived into Flom to take our boat cruise down the fjord. Cruise ships are welcome here up until 2026. They will then only have electric boats on the fjords. And of course I had to get a hot dog. This time I got a classic dog because I wasn't a fan of sweets. After about a 45 minute stop in Flom, we got onto our boat to go on the fjord. There wasn't much seating up top, so mom and I just decided to take a seat right on the floor. If you're doing a land-based trip going to Norway, click the link in the description below to do the same tour that we did. You won't be disappointed. In one of my upcoming videos, I'll be having all the details of how to plan your Norwegian getaway, so don't forget to subscribe. There were so many waterfalls and it was really cool to see from the top of the fjord where they start. Here's a shot that shows just the perspective of how big these waterfalls really are. If it gets cold, you can go inside and there's plenty of seating and restrooms. After two hours on the boat, we arrived to our next location where we had some time to walk around and there's a Viking village, which we didn't go to, but we walked close to, seeing some more waterfalls, and then we head back on our bus to go to Bergen. On our way home, everybody slept on the bus, so by the time we got back to Bergen, it was time for dinner. The name of this bar was really close to Joe Hogan, so I had to take some pictures. After dinner, it was about 10 o'clock, and as you can see, it's still totally bright. We decided to get some waffles and enjoy some of the views. To get to the airport, you can take the train, or you can take an Uber. Those are available. Mm -hmm. 
Our hotel was located in the perfect part of Bergen. It was a quick walk to the historic downtown and right across from the market and where we got picked up for our fjord tour. 